Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today I am going to bring you my Owl Crate for March and my most recent library haul. Okay, so as always, whenever I go to the library to return books, I always end up getting way too many books back, but I wanted to share with you guys what I ended up getting. Um, the first and most exciting for me is the fifth book in the Mages of the Library series. I am so excited but also really sad because the sixth one doesn't come out until December and that's a while to wait and I love, love, love this series. If you're interested in learning more about this, I do a very in-depth vlog about this. I think it came out last week where I just spend the whole day reading the series and talk about how amazing it is. But essentially, it is a manga about a young boy who loves books and wants nothing more than to go to the city of books and become a librarian, and it's amazing. So, definitely check this one out. I decided to just start a bunch of manga series because I found a bunch that I have been interested in but have never picked up before. So I picked up a book called Witch Hat at Lear. And this is what it looks like. This is the second book and the first book. I was able to pick up the first two and if I like them I'll continue the series. The art on the cover is really what sold me. I think that the art is amazing. I'm hoping that the art on the inside is also... This is a story about a young person named Coco who is in love with magic and is not a witch herself but wishes to learn the secrets of the witches and so one day she spies on a witch and sees the way that he does a specific charm and she thinks that she's going to copy it and of course things go very badly and that is how her story begins and it seems really good I'm excited to get into it. Next I picked up another manga. This is a Shonen Jump manga which is the same kind of manga as Haiku which is one of my absolute favorites so I figured I would like it. This one is called Hikaru No. This is about a young boy, a sixth grader named Hikaru and he is looking through his grandfather's things and finds an old Go board, which is a Japanese game. It's a board game. And he discovers that it has been haunted by the ghost of an ancient being. And together they end up basically tabbed. I think his, I think he's possessed by the ghost. He becomes an excellent Go player. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea. I've never heard anybody talk about this before. So it could be horrible. Who knows? Next, I got something that I've been wanting to watch for a long time. It's an anime that has been highly recommended, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So I figured I would start with the manga. And if I love it, I'll obviously watch the anime. But I got Little Witch Academia, the first three books. This is, again, another witch manga. I'm seeing a pattern in the ones that I got. This is the story of a young girl named Akko who has wanted to become a witch her entire life and she has been accepted finally into the school of witchcraft that she has been dreaming to go to her entire life and this is her story. Looking forward to that for sure. I got a graphic novel called Cody and this is one that has been on my TBR for a very long time and it is a beautiful watercolor art graphic novel and I am told that it's kind of sad. It's the story of two friends separated by everything in the world except for love which sounds like it's gonna be very sad if it's anything like brother bear i'm going to write off any kind of bear stories for the rest of my life if you know you know <laughs> and finally i got the other graphic novel the other graphic novel by tilly walden this is the author who wrote Tilly Walden also <laughs> wrote another graphic novel that I read this summer that I absolutely loved. She writes queer fiction, and I cannot remember the name of that graphic novel for the life of me, so I'm going to just put it right here so that you know what I'm talking about. But it was really, really good. I absolutely loved it. It was a five-star read, so I picked up her second book, and or is it her first? I don't know. I picked up the other one of her books that she has written, and I am very much looking forward to reading it. It is a story about ice skating, which 
who doesn't love an ice skating story and it is sapphic so I'm very much looking forward to reading this. Now that that is out of the way, I can do my owl crate and I had to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm sorry, I know there's probably a glare from my light. Here is my owl crate for March and I am super excited. Let's open it up and see what is inside. And there goes my card. Hey, they don't have the... I spent a long time last time complaining about the paper and this one has no paper so maybe they're getting rid of the paper so here is the art for this box it is called art the theme for this owl crate box is artistic obsession and I will refer to this as I go as always loving the art of this so cool the first thing I see is another literary luggage pin. Excited to see which one this is for. There's going to be 12 of them total, and this is the third one that I have received. This one is, oh, come on, come on. The Great Library of Summershaw. Summershaw? Oh, it's cute. It has the book case and a little white kitty on the shelf, if you can see it. I'm not sure if you can. But the series is from Sorcery of Thrones, which I've never read before. Next I see a skinny box with clouds and moons, and it says that it is a night court embroidery kit. This dreamy embroidery kit comes with everything you need to craft a night court inspired artwork yourself. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So this is obviously based off of a court of thorns and roses, and the night court is my favorite court. So this is so cool. Okay, let's see. Yep, there's a little embroidery hoop, which I have a billion of these, but I can always use more. It comes with the thread, and then let's see what the art is that they have on here. Oops, there goes my needles. My needles. And it's a little bit difficult to see. You probably won't be able to pick it up on the camera at all, but it's just like a half circle with the mountains and stars in the sky and a moon on the bottom, and it's lovely. I will absolutely be t doing this while I'm listening to my next audiobook. <laughs> so cool. Also, it's a very unique idea. I haven't seen anything like this before in a book subscription box, so go Owlcrate. Dorian Gray, age-defying face mask powder. Behind every exquisite thing that I ex that existed, there was something tragic. Jeez. Oh, yeah, Dorian Gray is a little bit dark. Face mask powder. Age-defying. Pour one to two tablespoons of the face mask powder into a bowl and then add distilled water into it, and it makes a thick mask. That's so cool. It's French green clay, white kaolin clay, green tea leaf powder, green tea is so good for you, and ginseng root powder. Nice! This is a very cool idea as well. Oh yes, another book sleeve. <laughs> this is cool. Ooh, I love her. It's called, it says Hope Makes Its Own Magic, and she is very cool painting in her library. And I have no idea what this is from, so let me check my cheat sheet. I love these though, they're so thick and good quality. I keep one at my classroom all the time so that I can keep a book there if I want to. And then I use them whenever I travel back and forth with a book. Oh, it's Daughter of Smoke and Bone! Yeah, I've never read that series before, but I'm in love with Lainey Taylor and I love Strange the Dreamer. So, this is so cool. I know once I read it, I'm going to be so happy that I have this. You are like a living rose among wax flowers. But isn't absurdity part of being human? We aren't ageless creatures who watch centuries pass from afar. Our worlds are small, our lives are short, and we can only bleed a little before we fall. What is this? Oh, it's a photo album. This is actually cool because I don't really, I mean, I don't take photos anymore, but they're nice large pages and it would be fun to put any kind of art pieces that I get from Owl Crate or anything else that I pick up and do like a little art album if I don't have space for them on my walls. So 
very useful actually I'm in love with that I have no idea what the fandom is from it is from an enchantment of ravens the two quotes are two of their favorite quotes from the series and then finally oh actually no there's something underneath there Ooh, stickers those are very cool they're artistic they're very big. I'm not sure what I'll put them on, but very cool. And those are from, featuring quotes from Winter Song, The Kingdom of Back, Woven in Moonlight, and Henry Matisse. Henry Matisse is a artist, if you didn't know. But the rest of them are from books that I have never heard of before. There is Music in Your Soul, a wild and untamed sort of music that speaks to me. Desire is your like is your lifeblood, and talent is the flower it feeds by Marie Lu. I weave thread after thread, turning strands into art, turning art into a secret message, Isabel Ibanez, and then the Henry Matisse quote is creativity takes courage. Those are very cool. I'm not sure what I'll do with them, but they're very cool. And then finally the book. The last couple of books have been kind of dark. This one is dark as well. This one is A Forgery of Roses. A Portrait is Worth a Thousand Lives by Jessica Olson. Let me open it for you. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but those are the beautiful edges. A Forgery of Roses. It has the letter from the author, the beautiful embossed hardcover, and the beautiful undercover art. I have never heard of this before. Myra Whitlock has a gift, one many would kill for. She's an artist whose portraits alter people's real life bodies, a talent she must hide from those who would kidnap, blackmail, and worse in order to control it. So she basically paints portraits and however she paints them, it makes them become that. So it's like the easiest form of plastic surgery I've ever heard of. Interesting. Interesting. One frigid night, the governor's wife discovers the truth and threatens to expose Myra if she does not complete a special portrait that would resurrect her governor's dead son. Is that even possible? There you have it. Marches. Alcray. I feel like it's hard to beat the last couple of Alcrate boxes that I got because everything about them was amazing. I loved them. I think my favorite item for sure in this is the embroidery kit. I think that's such a cool idea and something that once you finish you can put it up and display it as a piece of art. It's based off of one of my favorite books that I read last year so this for sure Number one, a lot of items in here that are pretty useful and unique and pretty solid box. Thank you for joining me. This was a little chaotic and definitely unscripted. Most of my videos are, but this one felt a little bit more chaotic. So I apologize for that. I hope that you enjoyed anyway. I hope that you like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this from me. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Yesterday.